You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week, and we're going to be playing more PlayStation games running on the PlayStation Classic. Let's see how it goes, how it runs. And next on our list is Fantastic Four, where there's actually five of them in this game at least. Let's see how, the, how this runs. And uh, Fantastic Four here is a beat-em-up you know, kind of like uh, Final Fight. And yes, this is a Marvel game. Um, back when uh, Fantastic Four was still very relevant for the Marvel Universe. The, they're largely forgotten this, these days thanks to the success of the Avengers movies. Yeah, can you believe these CG intros we got back in the day? <laughs> So yeah, there's the original four, of course, Mr. Fantastic, The Thing, Invisible Woman, Human Torch, and they have a fifth character. Oh, they didn't actually show in the intro. Well, that's interesting. Anyway, let's get to it. And loading screen has this, uh, this mini game. I, uh, this plays something very specific. An old uh, retro game. I just I just can't remember the title right now. Um, okay, yeah, I can press start already. Um, yeah, whatever. Let's press start. Oh, here we go. So nice art, nice art, and yes, there's the fifth one. Jenny Walters, the in, uh, the She-Hulk. So yeah, let's go with She-Hulk. So if you do have a multi-tap, four-player adapter, whatever you call it before, you can play with three other people on the PlayStation back then. And that's actually the only way to enjoy this game. Because if um, if I remember right, it was rather dull. Well, it's it's a beat 'em up, and um, you know the later beat 'em up games just lost um, character, I guess, substance. They all just got monotonous, repetitive. And uh, the 3D style doesn't lend well. I mean, the animations look very stiff. <laughs> so, obviously best played with another player. And if you're playing this alone, I wonder how long will you last before just, you know, deciding to turn off the console or just change the game. Not even F Fantastic Four fans will probably have a good time with this one. I mean, the progression is really dull. Wait, I died? I thought my life bar was still full there. I can't see properly anyway though. Anyway. The music at least is okay. 
you know, if you're a fan of the genre, I guess. And um, the controls are. Uh, th it's rather stiff. They kind of. Because the attacks. It's not as fluid as you'd find with, uh, say, you know, Streets of Rage, Final Fight, any Capcom beat em up, actually. They had to move to the next generation, and it's not always that good, that transition that is. I mean, you've probably seen my other videos where an old series transitioned to 3D and it doesn't really end up translating well. It looks downright horrible plays downright horrible and this is one of them a little page flip there oh. and we may have a different setting but everything still feels the same. It unfortunately doesn't get any better. I think you should have like special moves here. Was there? There is a block button at least. But that's it. I don't see any. And can you imagine if they actually had the new Fantastic Four roster used inst uh, included? And that one included um, Spider-Man, Wolverine, the Hulk, Ghost Rider, the uh, Daniel Ketch version. They were pretty big in the 90s, I remember. They replaced the Fantastic Four, the Reed Richards team for a few number of issues actually then there's also the roster that included uh, Black Panther and Storm when uh, Mr. Fantastic and Invisible, and Invisible Woman went to like a holiday I guess Man, that looks terrible. It's like a giant swamp thing. And um, uh, uh, this is the point where I'm getting tired of the game already. <laughs> it's uh, man, it's hard to maintain interest, uh, to be honest. So. Uh, I may love Marvel, but this isn't one of their bright spots in video games. So, oh look, a power-up. Let's see what that, that does. Do something. Nothing happens. Well, maybe you're supposed to fill up that bar, I guess. Can I kick this guy? No, I don't think so. Well, nothing happens at least. What, why does she have to swing her arm like that? Alright. Well, I didn't even get to change character. How will I... Uh, anyway, I guess that's it for this video. This is Fantastic Four on PlayStation Classic, and no, I do not recommend this at all. And I'm sure just by watching it, you'll never recommend it to anyone as well. And uh, thanks for watching though.
and watching 8-Bit Days a Week. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.